Hello everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence asking forgiveness of my sins and my prayer get into your throne. Thank you, Lord God, for this day that you have given us. Thank you for our life and our health. Thank you for your companion that you are always with us no matter what. I thank you, Lord God, for your faithfulness as well. Father, I ask that you will allow us to learn something from these devotionals that are talking about your servants, Lord. Allow us to be encouraged by their life and their dedication to you, Lord. Allow these testaments of these missionaries empower us and encourage us to continue the work that they started, Lord. May we be faithful to the calling to spread the good news and the gospel to to those around us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Matilde Cardenas. It was written by Sergio Gonzalez and translated by Maria Elena Cardona. Our biblical base comes from 1 Thessalonians 4, 16. So says the word of God. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. Gudula Matilde Michelena Pedroso is a native Catalina de Guenes, a town of fertile red lands in the province of Havana. She was born January 8, 1920. The gospel touched her life when the founder of the Bando Evangelico Gideon Church, Daddy John, set up his campaign tent in one of the parks of his hometown. That was the first encounter with Jesus, whom she later followed forever. At 22 years old, she dedicated her existence to evangelizing, giving her oath as a disciple and missionary of God in Miramar, Cuba. Her anointing by the Holy Spirit occurred on April 7, 1943, with the message interpreted by the Apostle Daddy John. The world is lost, heaven can be won, but only by one path. Holiness to the Lord, renouncing the world, renouncing material things that are at enmity with God to obtain the spiritual, the eternal things. Churches in places like El Socorro, Pase Real, Jovenianos, Casa Cajal are among the places where her presence generated blessings for souls who accompanied us. The Rangel family received the gospel through his servant and her mother, leaving us as a result the third apostle of our church, Arturo Rangel. In 1947, she met a young man named Juan Felipe Cardenas, whom she married on January 8, 1950. From that union came four boys who became shepherds and two girls who today are distinguished ladies, who were born and grew up in the home where Jesus was Lord. Juana, Moises, Merari, Adam, Benjamin, Pedro. But the gospel, essence, and lifestyle of this woman and her husband separated them twice. First, Central America, specifically Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador were trodden by the worn-out shoes of Gudala, Matilde's husband, in the 1950s and 60s. She told him upon leaving, Go, it doesn't matter, I'll take care of the six children in the church. Serious words issued from the heart of duty, rather than from a heart overflowing with love for her life partner. In 1961, after a great earthquake in the Republic of Chile, there was a calling for missionaries for South America. And once again, the giant Felipe departed into the unknown, and Matilde once again replied, when saying goodbye, for this is your desire, comply with God, I'll take care of the children. It would be seven years until an almost complete family reunion because the eldest had to wait 13 years to reunite with his parents due to uh, mitigory obstacles. All while in the South America world, they founded a vigorous church. Matilde, a holy ebony woman, 
the one who permanently took refuge in God on April 8, 2009, while in the arms of her children, said to them, I'll see you soon. We know that there, in the regions incomprehensible to the human mind, Guadalupe Matilde, by the grace of God, you have reserved place among cherubim and seraphim. Amen. My brothers and sisters, once again, a beautiful example of a missionary, a mother, dedicated to her family, dedicated to serving God. My brothers and sisters, she followed her husband around and she waited for him while raising her six children. That's no easy feat because many of the times she was like a single mother without the father in the home raising the kids because he was off doing God's work. What a strong and courageous woman of God. And now he has blessed her because the next moment she will know she will be in the heavenly kingdom surrounded by those that love the Lord, that have given their life to the Lord in the streets of gold at the crystal sea, praising and worshiping her heavenly father. May we be just as faithful. May we be empowered by her testimony to continue the work that her and her husband Felipe and many of her children, if not all, have continued to do. May we do the same. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. Father, let me be a living example of Christ. Let my life be a pleasing sacrifice to you.
Amen. What a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading as we continue through the book of Jeremiah. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen.